Hey everybody, Scott Sprancher here, DocSports.com. Hope you are doing well. It is our report, KBO Free Korean Baseball Play for uh, Friday, July 3rd, coming up on this report. We'll get to that in just a moment. First, a couple of quick notes. If you've yet to uh, sign up for that free $60 account, if you've yet to become a member, you can do so by clicking on the link below the video. That'll take you to the site. You get signed up and you get a free $60 account, which means you can use that on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. It is as simple as as that. Uh, there was a little snafu with that link. It is fine and dandy now, so be sure to click on it if you want to get that free $60 account. As far as everything else, uh, let's report the bad before we get to what we expect to be the good. Uh, I did lose the top play in Korean baseball on a Thursday morning, which snapped our 6-0 10-day run. Uh, we had a nice start to the game with Doosan up 5-2, but Kiwoom's bats warmed up, and they went on to win the game 10-7, and uh, so a loss there still six and one over the past 11 days obviously we'll take a six and one run anytime but it would have been nice to cash that ticket i do appreciate those of you who jumped on board and uh, we did have the free pick winner here last night which was good news in kbo action uh, but let's get right back to it in just a second with a free pick i do have a four-star play uh, in korean baseball for friday morning if you're interested and you'll be you'll have to get that before 12 45 a.m eastern uh, friday morning if you want to jump on board that's what time those plays go off over at doc sports Com. And of course, you can get my plays every day at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time for the next morning's game, those premium picks. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Uh, I wanted to mention something real quick, and we're going to get to this real quick. We're going to get to the free play and get out of here because I'm running a little bit late. A uh, real quick note on the NFL, they're going to uh, cut the preseason games down from four to two. As a football fan, I like it. It means we are going to have potentially less problems that come about by players and large groups being together we can get to the start of the regular season and power through uh, the virus uh, as a better I'm telling you what I've said it many times if you want to know about an NFL better and you want to know uh, how well they are how well they do uh, if they're legitimate ask them about preseason football because there are plenty of opportunities to wager on or against certain teams in preseason play so for that part uh, I'm kind of bummed that we're going to be down to two weeks but listen that gets outweighed this year by a once in 100 year pandemic right so uh, let's just get to the football season if it takes two preseason games and then we can move on more power to it uh, some baseball talk real quick. Uh, Robert Faringo and I are going to do uh, some Major League Baseball talk. It'll be over at DocSports.com, the video, uh, this coming Tuesday uh, evening. You'll be able to get that as we get closer to the season. We'll be talking about some American League and National League long shots and favorites that we think can get to the World Series. And uh, I might have one this weekend, by the way. I think I'm going to do that. Normally, I take Sunday night off from videos. I think I'm going to go ahead on Sunday night and do a baseball video, even though there's no KBO on Monday. So we'll look forward to that. All right. Let's get to it. Soccer, by the way, will be available Friday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern over at DocSports.com. KBO, 3.30 p.m. Eastern for Saturday's games. Going to look at one game here, a total, and that is the battle between uh, SK uh, and Lote, the Giants, against the SK Wyverns. And as far as SK is concerned, you know about their hitting and scoring woes. I mean, this team just can't score right now. They've scored four runs combined in their last five games. And the pitcher they got going in this matchup is Ricardo Pinto. Here's the thing about Pinto. We've been on him a couple of times this season uh, but if you throw out uh, his two starts against Kiwoom one of the better hitting teams in all of the KBO man all of a sudden his ERA looks great he goes from an ERA of just over four down to an ERA of 226 in his other eight starts again when you toss the two starts against Kiwoom aside uh, this team on offense as you know ninth in run scoring about 3.6 runs per game dead last 10th in both team batting average and OBP and as far as the other side is concerned Latte I know Adrian Sampson has had a couple of the rough starts here and there. Uh, but when he took on uh, teams that were more to the level of what SK is as far as the offense is concerned, he pitched all right. He did so against Hanwha earlier this season. So we'll look for the SK bats uh, to stay quiet. We'll expect Ricardo Pinto to fare well against Latte, and we're going to recommend the play. Under nine, juice for the most part, minus $1.20 on that under. Free play again for Friday morning KBO, under between SK and Latte. And by the way, we 
we'll be right back here on Friday between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern with a play from Saturday's card. We might have some more action involving soccer on that particular report. And we'll be on earlier than we are tonight. Just got a little bit behind on Thursday night with all the handicapping and all that good stuff that goes with it. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday morning in the win column.